So we have a function from capital X to capital Y, and we have two subsets of capital Y, and we want to prove this equality of sets. So before we get into the proof, let's talk about the idea, or rather the notation involved in this proof. So in this problem we have F, and capital X is the domain of F, and capital Y is the codomain. So this is the codomain, and this is the domain. And F takes capital X to capital Y. So what is this, this notation here? If you have a subset K of Y, we can define the inverse image of K or the pre-image of K under F as follows. It's the set of all of the X's in the domain, so in capital X, that get mapped to K, so such that F of X is in K. So let's say that this is K, then the inverse image of K would be maybe over here, so inverse image of K, and all of the X's from this set get mapped into K. So the inverse image is the set of all of the X's that actually get sent to K. All right, let's go ahead and prove our statement. And let's do this the fastest way possible. So note, X is in the inverse image of A intersect B under F. This is equivalent to saying, so this arrow is equivalent to, that f of x is in A intersect B. Right? These mean exactly the same thing. So if f of x is in the intersection, then x is in the inverse image of the intersection. And if x is in the inverse image of the intersection, then f of x is in the intersection. That's a lot to say. This is equivalent to, well, just using the definition of intersection, this means f of x is in A and f of x is in B. And this is equivalent to, well, if f of x is in A, that means x is in the inverse image of A. And if f of x is in B, that means x is in the inverse image of B. So we have X in the inverse image of A and X in the inverse image of B. So X is in the intersection of the inverse image of A with the inverse, oops, <laughs> inverse image of B. And that completes the proof. So we showed that if we have an X in this set, then it must be in this set. And this is a equivalent statement here, by conditional arrow. So this works both ways. So therefore, we are done. The two sets are equal. So therefore, the inverse image of A intersect B is equal to the inverse image of A intersected with the inverse image of B. So this is just one way to do it. You could have shown that, you know, they're each subsets of each other, but that's a much longer uh, argument. I hope this helps.